One of the biggest challenges of COVID-19 for doctors is predicting which patients require critical care and which ones may have a better prognosis. Now a report in the medical journal Lancet tells of a simple urine test that may predict who needs it and who doesn't. R9 News health expert Dr. Pyle Coley joins us once again to explain. Good morning. So Dr. Coley, if this is a respiratory virus, why do doctors check the urine samples? It's a great question, Gary. So we know that the, the virus uses the ACE2 receptors to get into the lungs and to get into the body. But in fact, these receptors are also present on other organs, particularly the kidney. And so we know that once it gets into the body, it can actually go and get into the kidneys as well and cause inflammation. In fact, many of the people that die from this condition and then have autopsies have severe kidney inflammation. So that's what really kind of pointed doctors at thinking about looking at urine samples because the urine is essentially a product of the kidney which can tell us what's happening in the kidney before you start to have symptoms. Is there something in the urine specifically they're looking at? Yeah, so essentially this is primarily an inflammatory condition. So the first thing that they're looking for is actually pus, white blood cells, or inflammatory cells in the urine. So that's the first marker that potentially there's inflammation going on in the kidney. But the kidney is a filter that filters the entire blood. And so if that filter is damaged, you can also leak things from the bloodstream into the kidney. And these are things such as blood cells. So we also look for blood cells in the urine or you can look for proteins like albumin in the urine. And what we're finding that's very interesting is that if you actually have some of these markers in the urine, like proteins, for example, the proteins that you're losing are actually the ones that protect the clotting system. And they could explain why we're maybe seeing more clots in the body with this condition. And you know, the other proteins that you're using, losing, like albumin, are actually the proteins that prevent your blood vessels from getting leaky. So they could explain why people who are ending up on a ventilator are having their lungs fill up with fluid. Yeah, so what, what's the practical application of this? How's this gonna help them down the road? So they do need to validate this in larger studies, but I think this is a tremendous advance because what we have here now is a cheap, simple, inexpensive test that could be done at home. It's essentially a urine sample peeing in a cup. And we could do it multiple times during the course of an illness to really try to identify those people that seemingly are healthy at home, but then end up decompensating relatively quickly and ending up in the ICU. And by identifying those people, we can actually start preventive therapies a lot earlier or potentially enroll them in clinical trials for drugs like remdesivir so that we can really change the trajectory of their illness. So we don't actually have to wait for them to have symptoms before you know we start to initiate some of these therapies yeah that is that that would be pretty cool for sure all right dr coley as always thanks for uh thanks for joining us